Well hello people of the world, today we are playing World of Tanks and well in this match I'm playing with a good friend of mine Raw4911 and this match is also something special because we get the achievement Brothers in Arms and that achievement is one in which that you and your platoon mate get three or more kills each and survive for the entire battle and I think your team has to win but I'm not sure on that but anyway going on with the gameplay Right here I do something rather stupid, and that is stop in a choke point like that, creating a bit of a tra traffic jam. But what I was trying to do actually isn't too stupid, because I was waiting for my platoon mate to catch up. So, then we can work together and focus fire on enemy targets when one shows up. Um, I won't be fast forwarding any footage through this match, because it's a relatively short match. But, so we're moving along here, and the base starts to be captured. But it really doesn't matter too much, considering I think there's only one light on the base at this time. But it kind of does matter, because our lights aren't moving in to try to stop it. Um, right here is something Raw's doing that you probably wouldn't do in a normal match, but considering there's no artillery in this match, it's okay to sort of stop out in the open when you're a heavy or something. Um, so right now we're just trying to get shots onto the tanks that are inside the city, and while that's going on we start to move to in towards the city, and once we get into there, um, the match can play out from there. Now, I know I did say that I wasn't going to fast forward through any bits, but that was incredibly slow pace. But now, moving out into the open here, we I'm basically making a rush straight for that little hovel right here. And that offers really good protection, provided you have like a heavy or probably a light, just a tank that can make it all the way through here. And I think Here's where I snagged my first kill, using the rubble and debris as good cover. Now, this would be a spot that I would recommend, especially spawning on this the other side in an encounter match like this, but maybe not so much if there was artillery, because you are in kind of a bad spot, considering that aspect right there. Um, so, right now I'm in a pretty good power position. And as this medium comes around, I'm going to try to get a shot on him, but there's that bit of debris towards my left track that I'm having trouble getting over, so I have to abandon that part. Um, so I reposition myself and start getting shots on this Churchill 1. And narrowly missed that scout, but it doesn't particularly matter. And while this is going on, I think Raw gets his first kill somewhere in here. But, right now I'm just getting shots on this Churchill, and I don't think he's noticed me yet. And he's obviously shooting at other people, and I have him tracked, which is really important. In the sense that he's not going anywhere. Now, that time I took a shot at the front of him, as opposed to his track, so he did get moving, but uh, fortunately for him... I was able to just get myself around enough so I could get a shot at the second backtrack and get my second kill. Okay, so now that I've got that Churchill, I am backing up, and in doing so, I spot this T28 up on the hill. So I scope in, just wait for him to stop, and I take the shot, and that's got me my third kill. And I'm saying to Raw, we can do this, like, we can get brothers in arms, because that's sort of always on the back of our mind when we're platooning. And so that's exactly what we do, so I roll around with him, more as a target, and just let him get all the kills. Don't let him, or well, don't take any shots at any tanks that he might be able to kill, and just generally communicating with him where other tanks are they might not have seen, because he's taken shots at a tank over there, which does get him his first kill, no his second kill sorry and now I'm telling him there's that light up there take shot at that and he gets it 
Um, so this is where we've got three kills each. I'm saying good game because it's basically over. There's a Hetzer and a Churchill left on the enemy team. Now just a Churchill. So the game is basically over. We've got brothers in arms, so we're both absolutely having a ball. Um, it all comes down to the fact of just get that achievement and the bonus XP that comes with it and you know just the fact that we can say hey we've got more than one brothers in arms now so this was our second brothers in arms that we got um, he's still moving up from his KV-1 onto other tanks I'm here just playing with him in it for the merit of it and that's what this game comes down to it's not about trying to get to tier 10 the whole game like it's all about if you find a tank that you enjoy playing it because I've got my KV-1 here for example and I've moved up all the way up to tier 7 on this Russian line but I love it like I still play it my crew is all on 100% and so on and here I go I shoot this Churchill and narrowly narrowly have it surviving to be so you'll buy that 20 so with the gameplay coming to a close there I'd just like to thank everyone for watching and if you enjoyed the commentary be sure to leave a like rating below we are getting real close to that 1,000 subscriber mark, so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, it means a lot. And encourage your friends to give the channel a look and subscribe. You know, if you haven't already what played World of Tanks, then I definitely recommend you give it a shot. It's just 100% free. And I'll probably put a link in the description below to the C server. Thanks for watching.